What's up, guys? It's your boys, and we'll keep back at it with some more of the Chris Watts content, as you will, into the case and of the evidence and photos of the crime scene that you guys wanted for a part two. Um, there's more stuff that I've been looking at and diving in and dissecting, and there's so much to look at and so forth like that. Just studying every picture just to see if things are possibly off a little bit or tweaked in in a different way and and so forth. This one we're going to be taking a look at is some more evidence, obviously. Um, there's possibly going to be a part three into this because there's so much stuff I want to put into these videos, but I don't want to make them too long for you guys. So if you guys want a part three of the crime scene photos and evidence, hashtag uh, crime scene uh, photos number three. But that being said, let's get into this. We're going to be watching from... Uh, a YouTube channel, Curiosity of Incentric Catwoman. Not quite sure, but a lot of you guys had sent me this because there's photos in here that you normally can't get anywhere else, and you guys wanted me to watch this. So make sure you guys go over to their channel, give them some love. But before we go any further, subscribe to this channel by hitting the white bar icon down the bottom right. Hit the bell icon next to it. So when I do post videos like this one, you guys will get that little rain notification that I've posted this video. And you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you guys so very much for the love and support. We are so close to 36K. We're on our way to 50K so I can give one of you lucky people a MetaQuest 3 virtual reality headset for free. So all you have to do is subscribe, comment, like, and share, and you're in. That's all you have to do. And then we get to 100,000 subscribers for the road to 100, because we're bound determined to get to 100 this year for 2024. And I will give, give or I will be giving away two more of those MetaQuest 3s. So three people, three lucky people, will be getting a virtual reality headset for free. And anybody and anyone can use these. It's for gaming. It's for um, movies, music, how to learn. It's, it's fantastic. But with that being said, let's get into these videos and these uh, evidence photos. And again, these are only, this video is for educational purposes. This is not for any way to disrespect towards Shanann, Bella, and Cece. My determination is to get 100% justice. I feel that we're not there yet. I feel that we're only 50-50% done. There is a killer out there. And with, and it's not just me that believes this. There's thousands of people that believe Nicole Kessinger is involved. And that's why I'm doing this. It's not because, yeah, signed, sealed, delivered, Chris is in jail, we're done and over with. There's a party, a second party. There might be more parties. We're still looking at it of possible other people, which I don't think that's a possibility, but there could be others that are involved. This could be all the way up into um, big corporations that were involved. It's ridiculously amazing how much these YouTube channels have looked into. And again, I'm not crediting myself saying I'm an educational um, in the crime partake. I do not know crime scenes. I do not know. I'm not, I don't consider myself a professional. I just look into these things and watch these and, and put my opinion on it. I don't credit myself as, yeah, this is what this is. I do 100% say that Nicole was involved. I will state that but it's only from what I have partaken and seen. And again, a lot of people agree, if not with me agreeing with other YouTubers as well. So I want to make that very clear. Um, so with that being said, let's get in the video and see what more we can see in these crime scene photos and evidence that has been gathered. Let's take a look. This is why we do it right here. These, these beautiful girls including baby Nico. So somebody said that we should look into this pantry, but I don't know why. Look how OCD she was. And then you go to the office. Look at this. OCD. She had it clean. And then when you go to her office, it's completely trashed. Her office. And again, shouldn't I'm, I'm going to pause it in between because I don't want to stop and then things go off. But you know those little yellow cards that have the 6, the 1, the 2, the 3, the 4, 8, 7, 15, 18, 20, whatever? Where are those? Where's the crime tape? Where's the, like, the pictures with the... I know this is not completely CSI here, but shouldn't they be doing this? Like, 
should they be using that um, luminol? Luminol, because she did, I wouldn't say, I shouldn't say defecate, but she did have some signs of bleeding because of what had happened. And Nico was born, unfortunately, and deceased. But shouldn't they like luminol or like use that flashlight with the, the orange screen to look for Emma or, or how do you say it? Em, I can't even pronounce the word. Anomalies or whatever have you, but I don't see any of that here. And again, a lot of the police officers weren't wearing gloves in the beginning when they were when they called Chris. And I did find out that that security baby camera can record. Her her bag that she had. Look how OCD that is. How cleanliness. Shanann was particular on everything. But then you see certain rooms that were messed with. Like her office. See the blue glove. The infamous blue glove. We're still trying to figure out why that's up there. And there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. There was sheets in there. There's pillowcases. Things were vacuumed. See, this stuff? Like, why is that not used? I was going to say, don't they have the little bracket? Like, was this fingerprinted? I mean... And a lot of the, a lot of the stuff was taken into evidence, but not processed. Wonder what that's for. A lot of dirt marks and smudge marks, but was this used out at the, the Survey 319 or there? Like, because people still think that the girls were murdered here, but they weren't. You could see them moving out by the car. See, now this, her off, this is, there's no way her office was like this or like that. The OCD that this woman had, look at her shoes. There's no way that this was left like this. Still can't believe that there's YouTube channels that make Shanann the bad person, yet she's the one that lost her life. All because he wanted to be with somebody else. This guy had it all. A lot of bank statements. Like who like why we need to know about bank statements? tablet and the cameras Chips, the memory card chips were gone. So it's funny that Celeste's room was made, but Bella's was not. 
He said he made all the beds. Which doesn't make sense. There's that other camera. Man, if these walls could talk. And you look at every little picture just to see if there's anything off. And it shows that he was sleeping inside the bed the night that the girls were gone. That he was able to sleep in that bed that he said he wasn't. But he was in that bed while his wife was in a ground or in the ground. Those are mood rocks. They have like, they're salt. They're not crystals. My mom's got a big mood rock. I told you guys that, that this camera is able to record. This baby monitor, it's able to record. And this device has a memory chip that you can put in it. A little micro card. There's another rock that fell. Why did a rock fall? Just throwing that out there. I mean, did, did they look at the pillows? I mean, did they, for like, the, the bad stuff. So I'm guessing that's the stuff that she took off. When she came home. There's that camera. So that could solve the answer right there if they were murdered in the house or murdered out at Survey 319, which I think they were murdered out at Survey 319. So that's the warrant. Celeste's. And then, like, the truck, they didn't even, like, process it properly. You would think, like, what's going through his mind while he's doing this. It's got a little few roughed up spots but I mean he did work out the oil but I don't know why people are so fixated on the tattoo on his back it's Metallica I just sit here and do this and you know your life is over because of the stupid mistakes you made. See, he's got some stuff on his neck, like roughed up. Like, I can't say scratch marks, but... And they took pictures of everything. I'd still like to know why he put them in the oil tanks. It makes no sense to put them in the oil tanks rather than bury them with their mother. And why put them out at the Survey 319? He could have put them anywhere. But why the oil field where he works? Or people would have found them eventually. It makes no sense. That's why people think it's part of Anadarko. Because he was going to blow up this place for insurance purposes.
There's footprints around there that are not just his. Shovels. Broken rake. This case still just upsets me. They got her at 12 o'clock at night. And it took them forever to get them out. The girls. See, now they're doing the the four card that card. Now they're doing it. Why didn't do the, they do those at the house? What is this? Is that the puke? And then he put bags over her head and feet so the girls wouldn't see Shanann. What is that? Just think of the person that had to go in there and pick those little girls up. This is why we fight. So with that being said, guys, please let me know in the comments if you would like to have the part three. I do know that some people spec or have stated that for me to just to get over this. Why? Is there a reason why you guys want me to give up? Like, I just... Is there a problem with me doing this? For those that have pretty much... I wouldn't say degraded me, but I've said some hurtful things, um, which they've been sent to my YouTube hold area um, where I have read them. Very vulgar words. Um, I mean, everybody is entitled to their opinions and they're entitled to their words and, and so forth. But is that going to solve anything for you to demeaning the people that want to solve this 100%? There are people that think that Nicole Kessinger was not involved, but there's so many different amoralities that don't make sense. There's a couple TikTokers that I've seen that state that the morning that she pinged in Frederick, Colorado, she was going to work. There's a lot of roads that go towards her work that she did not have to go to Frederick, Colorado. She could have gone a whole bunch of different areas and locations. And it just a lot of it does not make sense. And I'm going to continue this until something is either resolved or um, found. I mean, cases get reopened here and there all the time. 
can I say for a certainty that it will? No. But we can't change anything if we don't do something. And I feel like we're onto something. It's just we don't have enough proof. So, again, please comment down below if you guys want me to do part three. Um, we're going to look more towards the basement again, obviously. A lot of people want to look at certain areas of the basement. Um, I mean, we've we've gone over this a lot. We're going to continue going over this for a lot. If you don't want to watch my videos, don't watch them. If you don't like my channel, don't watch my videos. I'm, I'm not going to change for other people. I am who I am, and I'm going to be that person. I'm, I'm very honest. I am not going to sugarcoat things. I'm going to tell it like it is. And if you don't like my videos, you don't have to watch them. I'm not making you guys watch them. And I'm, I hope you understand. So please keep the comments positive. Keep them um, respectful. Because um, I've seen that people have actually degraded Shanann, which there's no reason to de degrade Shanann. She's the one that lost her life. Because Chris wanted to start a new life with Nicole. That's not an excuse. Um, don't forget to subscribe for those people that enjoy my channel. Hit the like, like button for the continuation of trying to find the 100% justice. And we'll see you guys in the next video. So please take care. Keep it safe. And as always, keep nerding on. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.